hey guys it's me vivek nirupane and i'm here with yet another video on bank management system project using visual studio c++ and mysql for database um i have actually uploaded a video just one month or maybe three two months ago about the bank management system project and that was at the beginning of the project so here i am with the project completed and with yet another video of how whole project look like so that was just a teaser and now you are gonna watch a real picture i guess so it was really glad that some of you people have commented on me and just emailed me about how to make this project and believe me that it i would be more than happy to teach you about making this video so just subscribe to my channel and then like and everything is yours even i owe to you so without further talk i think i should run this program and see how the project look like so it's running and here is my first form so let me minimize this and this is my first form please enter your username and passport username passport and here is verify credential where i'm gonna verify the username and passport create new account login as admin which is only accessible to me since i am the admin of this bank and need help watch this video you will know you will get to know about this later so this is how my whole form look like so since i have no any account right now instead i have but i'm gonna i have to show you how what this part of this project do create new account so i'm gonna create new account just for you guys just to show that it really works and <laughs> so account id number i'm gonna make a account of one 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 so my first name is going to be um i'm huge fan of john cena <laughs> john and c e and a john cena so my address is you can see me i guess my username will be Sena Socks and passport will be No Man. So John Sena is saving, so I'm gonna make a saving account and I'm gonna deposit. So this is like poor John Sena, like 5000 rupees only. So is he male or female? So I guess he's male. And I don't know a date of birth, so it doesn't even matter uh, whichever I fixed. So I'm gonna verify and create this account. Verify my friend and do it fast. I have to sleep. So your account has been created. I got a message box. So thank you so much for creating. I hope you are not going to do that. So login is admin. So this is my part. So once your account had been created, the bank need to activate your account. So this is where the bank since the bank is me right now so i'm gonna activate that account that i just created or some of my customer might have created so this is my username of my admin and this is my passport don't you not you don't need to worry about this i'm gonna teach you everything later so verify welcome honor i guess that's probably probably me so i'm welcomed and i am here inside but you are not showing me anything to it fast buddy i've got works to do all right so welcome to your bank this is show me his or her profile and these things which you will get to know later so this is my account holder so let me see my account holder oh i've got a lot of them so this is the part which i created just now one 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 john Sena. you can see me Sena sucks no man saving account in five thousand rupees and his mail of course so now his account has been activated if you are gonna see these things over here it means these are all the customer of my bank or some bank members who have or i can say account holders who have whose account has been activated so our username is seen as such and passport is no man so i'm gonna cancel this bye bye honor okay so the username is what Sina sucks and passport is no man he doesn't sucks is my favorite so i'm gonna verify credential over here your username and passport is correct so thank you so much and this is where the part comes so here is deposit and withdraw amount displayed at in time and convert money 
so i guess i'm gonna go from here to convert money so this is let's convert from where you can convert the money for your ease while transit while transition of the money while depositing you no know, it so i'm gonna show you how it is gonna work so like convert from dollar to rupee rupee to dollar and rupee to euro euro to rupee so i'm gonna do this convert for yen to rupee so this is how it's gonna work i have typed here convert yen to rupees so i'm gonna just move it a bit like from two and then i guess probably it's just like this yes uh, yeah then why it didn't work right here all right it's fine i'm gonna show you so convert from dollar to rupee there might be some problem i'm gonna look after it right back but okay fine converting dollar to rupee and so here is from dollar to rupee converting dollar to rupee and i'm gonna scroll this like five dollar equal to 641 rupees and it's like this 13 dollar equal to 1496 rupees so this is how it's gonna work so this is let's convert so I'm gonna display date and time. It's going to display the current date and time like it's 10 p.m. right now. It's probably going to be 11 and 2016 December 10. So you can exit. Oh shit! I exit the whole program. I'm sorry, I guess I need to run that program again. Sorry for that mistake. So run fast and i'm not gonna take time cena sucks but i'm his big fan trust me no man he doesn't sucks so verify credentials open it fast open it fast yeah i know it's correct you don't have to tease me so deposit and withdraw amount this is the real part where the bank work so this is let's play with money update my transaction yeah this is all messed up you look you feel like that but actually it was really difficult for me to make i have used a lot of brain while making this and i even i didn't get some of the help so i need to make logic of my own which i'm going to tell you later so but now right now let's show you how this project works so my id number was one 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 so and first i need to select my id number so it's after i select my id number it's going to say that your current balance is this so i need to deposit the amount so i'm going to deposit five thousand more five thousand yes more so i'm going to deposit here so the amount you deposit will be added to your bank account okay so you have just deposited rs five thousand to your bank account yeah thank you so much but since everyone can open this and deposit amount or withdraw from the amount so where is the privacy of the bank B because bank is all about privacy so don't forget to click this button before existing so i need to no matter who open the application and just put deposit or withdraw amount they need to update their transaction so after while updating the transaction they need to type their account id so 1111 was my account id and my passport was no man so i'm going to verify this your id and password is correct i know that so the whole procedure is done and bank will regard your transaction so thank you very much for depositing 5000 to our bank so this is how this work and now my account has been created and my a bank transaction has been made i have deposited 5000 to my bank account so how i'm gonna know that this all transaction has made and how i'm gonna know that bank has already shared my 500,000 and added it to my previous bank in their database system so here is how the bank knows i'm gonna log in as admin and i'm going to write here my username and my passport over here and i'm going to verify this so i'm welcomed here again yes i'm back so open it for me please and quite fast so this is open now this is where the bank is gonna watch who had done what so i have already created an account of 1111 which username was john senna and he had de de deposited 5000 while creating the account but after that he opened the application and he again deposited 5000 so now total money that he need to have in his bank account should be 10,000 so let's see whether it works or not so show my account holders 
so don't send us send us socks this is no man saving account and it is ten thousand already so this is how the bank management system project works not only this i can even delete the account by like i'm going to select the voucher id number so i'm going to select suppose i have to delete this one so i'm going to select this one and i can yes and it's going to i can even change their profile like i need to so for example if they had done some mistake on their name or username or passport or they have forgotten their username and passport so that i can change so the bank can change it from here i can delete their account i can update their account so bank can do anything so this was my project of my second semester and i know it was it took a lot of time for me even my grade were affected because i wasted a lot of time on making this and i even making this video so that your time do not get wasted on finding the proper video for your project see learning is a great process and if you need any help regarding this project then you can ask me you need to like my channel and you need to even subscribe my videos because yeah uh, I probably don't want to waste my time if you are not interested at all so if you want if you are interested if you want to learn then please let me know I'm going to make further videos because it's going to take a long time so hope you guys are interested in my further videos and don't forget to like and subscribe so this is how the bank management system works and thank you very much for coming and never say goodbye thank you